Lagos Transport Fest by EventThive.ng caught out to shape the future mobility for Africa, had lots of speakers that have invested a lot in the transport system and the business opportunities this brings in terms of development. They have seen the prospects in this industry ranging from road, rail, ports and logistics. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo has more. Transport business is no doubt a lucrative venture that continues to attract investors into the Nigerian economy due to our ever-rising population. There is an increasing demand in the transportation industry with a growing population of over 200,000 people in Nigeria. This requires much supply, hence the need for people to venture into various land transportation businesses. Event Hive CEO spoke about vital deliberations across the mobility industry and the reason for this setup. Basically, we believe it is important for us to constantly provide platforms for policymakers and, of course, private sector stakeholders to learn on new developments within, within Nigeria's transport sector. That's where we thought we should kickstart the idea of Lagos Transport Fest. It was launched in 2019, and this is currently the third edition of the event, where we provide mobility, mobility um, solutions provider with an opportunity for them to showcase their solution at platforms like this. And of course, we bring, we bring together the guys from the, from the public sector for them to learn on new developments from the guys that are developing this solution in the private sector. So that's basically what we try and do at Lagos Transport Fest every year. Youth gaze with full attention in these hall filled to capacity as key speakers inform on the way forward investing in the transportation industry. I have people who come around to talk about terminals. They want to operate terminal to move containers. We have people who actually want to participate. They have come in. We talk about granting of access. Lagos State, for example, is running his Lamata on our line. All he's asking for now is access. Just like any other state will come in, we have other states coming. Uh, Niger, Niger State government too has also been visiting. We have been discussing. And we have individuals who want to bring their wagons. They want to bring locomotive and wagons to run. All we need to do is just to sit down the MOU and discuss it, the modality of how to defray. Because that are pretty decent for you to move around with. It provides you with security such that you're able to commute from place to place in a very safe manner. Um, what we've been able to do in the last two years is build that up into having over half a million, about 560,000 people that have used that trips app to commute within bus stops in Lagos, um, across cities in Nigeria, and not just doing that in Nigeria, but doing that in Nigeria, we currently have operations in Ghana and we currently have operations in Uganda. With the availability of e-hailing cabs, there is indeed a bit of a transition in the transport industry, perhaps only for the elites. There is a growing expectation that the rail sector will function fully like in other climbs, so people can start keeping their cars at home and thereby reducing traffic. Destiny Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.